Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing here with your Motorcycle Riser Tip of the Week. Motorcycle risers are the easiest way to position or reposition your handlebars so that they're a little bit closer and maybe a little bit taller so that you have an optimum riding position. Over the next three weeks I'm going to show you how to swap out your risers, your handlebars, and then your lines and cables to get that perfect fit on your particular motorcycle. So in this tip we're going to show you the installation of one of these risers, a set of drag specialty handlebars, and Barron's lines and cables. Here in front of me I have four of the most popular brands of motorcycle risers for both Metro Cruisers and Harley Davidsons. Here on this side we have Show Chrome Accessories or Big Bike Parts. Here we've got the twisted and the four inch classic pullback risers from Show Chrome Accessories. These risers install on just about any make and model as long as you choose your specific make and model riser bolts. Earlier I said that the 4 inch riser is the most popular riser. Now if you're, now if you're looking for a little bit more rise and a little bit more pullback, this is the Curiokin 1725. This set of risers here comes complete with its own hardware, washers and bolts, so you can install these on just about any motorcycle. Moving right along, Barron's has come up with a system that's absolutely incredible. These here are the Barron's 7410-U. These are 4 inch pullback risers that come with riser bolts for just about every metric application. Pro One has done a great job. Of here we have the Pro One 801-250. These risers come with bolts and a top clamp to finish off the look. Now that I've talked a little bit about these risers, the installation is fairly simple for just about all of them. Let's go ahead and get this installation started on a V-Star 650 Classic. This V-Star 650 Classic is going to be our blank slate for today's riser installation. As you can see, this motorcycle is set up with the stock V-Star 650 risers. We're going to remove these risers and replace them with a set of aftermarket risers. Now this installation is almost identical for just about every riser out there on the market. So to begin this installation or any riser installation we really need to lay down a drop cloth, towel, something over the tank so we don't accidentally ding or scratch the tank. What we're going to start by doing is removing each of these chrome caps up here on the top of the handlebar. Now that we have each of those button caps removed, we're going to go ahead and loosen each of these riser cap bolts. That way we don't have to break them free after these risers are separated from the triple tray. Now that we have all the bolts in the top of the riser loosened, we're going to come down here underneath the triple tree and we are going to remove this nut on both sides of the motorcycle. Now that we've got the nut and washer removed, we're going to go on over to the other side and repeat the process. Now I've got both of those nuts removed off the bottom of these risers. I'm going to go ahead and hold onto the handlebar so it doesn't swing down. And I'm then going to loosen these riser cap bolts, drop the handlebar down, and then remove these top clamps. Now that I've got the top clamps removed, I'm going to take this handlebar and I'm going to set it just forward here on the tank and remove the stock risers. Now that we have the stock riser removed, we're going to take these 4 inch pullback risers from Showcom Accessories and install them using the model specific bolts. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Loctite to ensure that this bolt stays securely fastened, light it up through the triple tree, attach the riser. Now before I go any further, I want to point two things out. One thing is that I'm not going to tighten this all the way down because I want to make sure the bar fits through here and everything else up here gets snug down before I tighten the bottom of this bolt. But take a look at the vast difference between the stock riser and the new riser from Show Chrome Accessories. Now that we got both these risers installed and looking good, we're going to go ahead and remove the top clamp. Here. So now we're going to go ahead and take our clamps, set both of them up here, start them down, then we'll sit on the bike, adjust our bars to the correct height. Once we've got the bars positioned where we want them, we're going to go ahead and tighten these top two bolts first, followed by the bottom two. Now that we got the top clamps tightened, we're going to come back here to the riser bolts themselves and we're going to go ahead and snug those down. Now that we've effectively got the install complete, we're going to roll the bike back out of our stand. We're going to double check movement side to side. There you have it, stock riser to a 4 inch pullback. Installation is fairly simple and almost identical for most aftermarket risers. Join me next week where we show a bar swap and then we'll replace all of the lines and cables.